All right, so this is lesson seven of the Healthy Athletes program. And the next four lessons are going to pertain to endurance sports. So these are sports that require a lot of energy, that result in sweat loss, and a lot of muscle usage. So make sure to tell students that, you know, this isn't just for people who are doing moderate exercise, maybe 30 to 60 minutes a day, but this is for athletes. So go ahead and open your folder and take out the teacher manual and you can open up to lesson seven. So for lesson seven, you're going to use page seven in the um, staff reference guide. And here you'll discuss what to do before exercise. So this is to make sure that students are going into um, not only practice, but especially their big games well nourished, making sure they have the energy they need to get through the game. Um, and it breaks it down into three to four hours before exercise and then 30 to 60 minutes before exercise. And there's a little box here that says practice eating. And this is just, um, you know, before a big game, students don't want to all of a sudden introduce a new food. They want to make sure that the foods that they know what works with their stomach and their bodies before a game. So to kind of practice eating, we call it. Uh, and then what to do during exercise. So you'll go through this list, and this is making sure that they're replacing any fluid that's lost during physical activity. Um, and also you're going to talk about fluids down below and then fill your tanks. So this is again making sure that they're well hydrated and well nourished before a big game. So the worksheet that goes along with this workshop is determining daily energy needs. So this one's a little bit confusing so I'm just going to quickly go through it with you and make sure that you fully understand it before um, going over it in class. But each student's going to need a calculator for this one. So how this works is in the top, what they're going to do is figure out how many calories they're going to, they need in, to make sure that they're getting enough calories for the physical activity they're doing. And then it breaks it down into how much they should be getting from carbohydrates, how much from protein, how much from fat. So what they'll do is, depending on if they're male or female, they're going to multiply either 1 or 0.9 by their weight in pounds. And then they're going to multiply that by 24 because there's 24 hours in a day. And then they're going to choose an activity factor. So since these are athletes, they're probably going to be choose the high activity factor. So then they'll multiply that number by 0.73 to get their total calories. So these are how many calories they should have each day in order to be getting enough. Then they'll take that number and plug it in to the carbohydrates section. So they'll take the total calories times 0.6 to get how many calories should be coming from carbohydrates. Um, and then they'll plug that carbohydrate calorie into this next line. And they'll just follow the arrows and then divide it by four to get um, how many grams of carbohydrates they should be getting each day. So they're going to then plug their total calories into the protein group and the fat group to get all of those. And the next page has a filled out example so that you can see because this one's definitely a little bit more confusing. So, um, and you can go through the example with the students before they start just so they can see how it works before they start plugging in their numbers. Um, and, you know, just let students know that this is to make sure they're getting enough calories and from the different food groups, making sure they're getting enough protein, enough fat, because all of that's really important. Um, and that's it for Lesson 7. Have fun.